So now we can summarize singly linked list. So singly linked list is actually a linear collection of nodes that are linked to form a chain. So each node will be having one link. So it's it's maintained as a chain, and we are having only one reference to that linked list, and that reference is to the first node, and that reference we have called it as start. And we have considered different operations on the linked list. So how to create node? Then, in order to create an empty list, you have to create the pointer start, whose type is struct node start struct node start start, and assign it to null. So this instruction actually creates. A pointer start and initialize it to null. During first insertion, what you have to do is just create a uh, new node. Ado take a pointer p, allocate memory, then store uh, initialize data, store the address of that node in start. So in this way, you can build your singly linked list. We have discussed various operations. First one. First one was traverse. In order to traverse the traverse the list, you have to take the pointer and move across the list. Shift the pointer to the successor nodes and perform the traversal. And we have discussed traversal by taking assumption that your linked list under consideration is non-empty. You have to address that trivial cases separately. So before performing the operation, we have discussed insertion. Insertion is again we are having three category: insertion at the beginning, insertion at the end, insertion in between. So we discussed all those cases by assuming that the linked list under consideration is non-empty. Again, we discussed deletion operation. So deletion of a node at the beginning, deletion of a node at the end, and deletion in between. We discussed all those cases. All those operations based on the assumption that our linked list is non-empty. Now you can think of the situations in which you are going to perform all those operations in an empty linked list. So before performing an operation, you have to ensure that uh, base case whether list is empty or not. If list, if if your list is empty, then you have to take necessary action. So assume that you are going to perform deletion operation in an empty list. So is it possible to perform deletion operation in an empty list? So before executing deletion, you have to check whether start equal to null. If start is equal to null, then that means the list is empty, and you cannot proceed deletion. Similarly, if you are going to, if you are trying to perform insertion at the end in a linked list. In an empty linked list, you have to check whether list is empty. If list is empty, you can only perform insertion of the new node as the first node. You cannot uh, go for deletion at the end. So you need to address all those cases while performing the operations insertion and deletion. Similarly, uh, what happens if we call traversal? So before performing traversal, you have to check whether list is empty or not. If, if list is empty, you have to. Uh, display that list is empty. You cannot perform traversal. Otherwise, you can perform traversal. Then, now you can think of. So we have discussed iterative approach to traverse a linked list. Now you can think of recursive approach to traverse a linked list. How you can uh, visit the nodes in a singly linked list using recursion. That is one point. Then second one, you can think of visiting the nodes in reverse order in a singly linked list using recursion. So you are having nodes in this sequence. Let B A B G F. So how you can this is the starting node. So how you can traverse or display these nodes in the same sequence using recursion, the forward direction using recursion. And how you can display nodes in the reverse order? That is in the order F G D A. F G D A. 
using recursion so that is second second point so you have to think about yourself 